Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. Peace family, this is your brother Mr. Holipsism. Today is Easter Sunday, um, whatever that means. Don't really care about that. Just wanted to have a conversation about race. Because, you know, that's what I keep hearing all the time when, you know, this Trayvon Martin situation. I see these Negroes on television. The one thing I keep hearing over and over again is we need to have a conversation about race. This country is afraid to discuss race. And um, <laughs> I just wanted to to smash this talking point once and for all, so that maybe we don't have to hear this, or if we do hear it again, we can clown them, you know the people that's having this come out of their mouth. Well, first of all, let me indulge. So you want to have a conversation about race. So what do you want to talk about, nigga? What do you want to talk about? Who are you talking to? You want to talk to me? You want to talk to white folks? Like, who, who's having this conversation exactly? Are we going to have a conversation about how we don't control our environment on a socioeconomic and political level? Are we going to have a conversation about if this is a race, that we're losing the race? Are we going to talk about how race is only a problem for the victims of white supremacy and how all other so-called problems for the perpetrators of it are just a fantasy? Are we going to talk about how we refuse to be adults and get out of our parents' house and choose to be spoiled, rotten teenagers with a lot of attitude but still being fed by mommy and daddy? What are we going to talk about? Well, let's talk about that first thing. What exactly is the problem exactly with the whole race thing? Like they're saying, we need to have a conversation. First of all, like I said, who's we? Are we going to, black folks and white folks going to sit down and have a conversation about race? Okay, this should be interesting. Um, and at the end of this conversation, what is supposed to happen? Like, are we supposed to reveal, oh, wow, you know, I didn't realize that you, you, you people were kings and queens and, and um, the, the mothers and fathers of civilization. I didn't know that. Really? You mean um, you people created mathematics and science and architecture and, and all these great accomplishments and things? Man, I wish that I had known this, you know, before I, I wouldn't hate your black ass like what do you expect as a result of this so called conversation see this right here falls into what I always talk about which is ideological quicksand whenever you hear a nigga get up there in um, mainstream media and they talk about we need to have, this, this country is uncomfortable with race. We need to have a discussion or conversation about race. You know that that's a confused nigga. Because first of all, we do need to have a conversation. But the people who should be talking are black African people. We should be talking to each other. We should be having a conversation about race with each other. Like for instance... Let's all look behind us and check the skin color. Let's pull that freaking, you know, pants leg up and check the ankle so we can see the skin color of the foot that stuck up of, stuck up all of our asses collectively as black, black African people. Why don't we do that first? Let's identify the foot. Oh my God, it's a white foot. We have something in common. Now, there's a great discussion to start a race conversation about. We need to have a conversation about that. Do we have any commonalities? 
Do we have any common denominators? Do we have a common enemy? And I know people hate that word enemy, but I think it's appropriate. When you have a group of people who have made a decision that either you are going to be like them or we are going to kill you, that damn well sounds like an enemy to me. But I don't want to get into that because that's, you know, getting too dangerously close to the white man on the brain, brain disease. I don't want to get go there. I want to deal with us. Nigga, what do you want to have a conversation with about race and who you want to talk to? You want to talk to white people? How come you don't want to talk to me? Let's talk to me. I'm going to have this conversation with you. I think the presupposition toward this conversation is we need to have a conversation about race with white people is a lot of Negroes is in search of the great good white person. It's like Bigfoot, you know, or, or the your Loch Ness Monster, yet it's like legends have it that there's great good white people. And all we got to do is find them. I know they're out there somewhere. I know within every evil white person, every white person that kills a nigga, every white person that's dragging a nigga behind a truck, there's somebody in there. There's some place in there. There's some good in him. And we're going to find it. And I don't care if we have to sacrifice every black body in our race. We're going to find that great good white person. <laughs> so your premise is you're going to appeal to the goodness inside of white people. I want to ask you a question. Let's say you have a rule, but to that rule, there's an exception. Let me give you an example. Black mambas are very poisonous, venom, venom, thou ah, can't say the word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> black, black mambas have a lot of venom. I ain't going to even attempt to say it because I can't. Um, Let's say that there's one black mama, maybe two, who not only don't have venom, but also won't bite you. Does that mean that now all of a sudden you can let your guard down around black mambas? Because those two didn't do what a black mamba has been historically known to do. So my question to you is this. If you have a Lysander Spooner, or a Tim Wise and you have these exceptions to the rule and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be devil's advocate because some people would argue with me on if that's an exception but I'm just going by you know the facts and the historical document if Lysander Spooner and Tim Wise are the exceptions to the rule does the rule cease to exist do we have to let our guard down and, you know, just be ourselves because, you know, these people understand us. Oh, that's their natural inclination to understand you. Or are you going to go by historical document? Are you going to go by the history? No one respects someone who kisses their ass. I know I saw Ferris Bueller's day off. I don't know if anybody else did, but they obviously didn't take that lesson away. No one respects someone who kisses their ass and if you want to know why we don't get any respect it's because of fucking conversations like this we need to have a conversation about race you know that's the problem this country is afraid of race really how afraid of race are they really we seem to be at the bottom of this society they seem to have have, have rallied around race pretty good to me my question is, when are we going to rally around it? I don't want to leave on a negative note. I don't want to leave this conversation on a negative note. I'm going to be redundant here. I'm going to repeat some solutions. Solutions that I've repeated over and over and over again on my channel. But I'm going to do it again. Number one. We have to take responsibility for the reality of our situation and how we respond to it. Number two, we need to eliminate white man on the brain disease. 
Number three, we need to have a social, economic, and political control over our environment. And that means basically have a culture and a nation. Those are the steps. That's the solution. The solution is not going to white people and expecting white people to um, change their ways and accept us into the fold. And as a matter of fact, not only are you incredibly naive, incredibly delusional, but I go so far as to say that you are a danger to our people if that's the ideology that you are kicking. We don't need to have no fucking conversation about race with white folks. We need to have a fucking conversation about race with our people and let our people know that we are losing this race because we refuse to find common denominators and come together as a people and be separated and divided by bullshit. We can't even agree. I bet you there's people that say fuck Trayvon Martin because he wasn't African Senate. Or fuck Trayvon Martin because, well, he wasn't a Muslim. Well, fuck Trayvon Martin. He might have not have been a Christian. This, he wasn't Hebrew Israelite. Fuck that nigga. This is the type of mentalities that we're dealing with. And we want to have a conversation about race with white people. White people got race down pat. Everybody has race down pat. Chinese got race down pat. They don't need no fucking conversation from you niggas. Who you need to be talking to is other black African people. That's who you need to have the fucking conversation with. So I swear, every time I see these niggas on TV, these, these mainstream so-called black progressive Negroes, which ain't no really no such thing, I dare you to name one black mainstream um, progressive thinker on TV. I dare you. Put it in the comments. It doesn't fucking exist. You know where the mainstream is, is doing? They producing Negroes who want to ask questions like this. You know where the hardcore black nationalists African Senate thought, progressive thought is coming from? It's coming from the people who listen to this video. The vloggers. The bloggers. It's coming from the grassroots. And I for one am pleased by that. I'm happy. Because that's where it should come from. Because none of these Negroes is going to talk anything about nationhood. None of these Negroes is going to talk anything about having socioeconomic and political control. They're not going to talk about an infrastructure. And they damn sure ain't talking about the BAI. <sighs> like I said, the only conversation that we need to have about race is with our own people. And we need to get on the same page. And we need to realize that we have forces that are against us in this world. And the only way we're going to defeat these forces is by coming together as a people. And we don't have to convert to whatever religious faith that you believe in. Because I believe everybody has the right to, to worship whatever religion that they want to. Even if you want to be delusional. You have a right to be delusional. But I know this. When they come kicking down doors and going stomping through the neighborhood. Everybody's door gets kicked in, whether you're delusional, whether you're African Senate, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Christian, whether you're Hebrew Israelite, whether you worship a head of lettuce, we all suffer the same fate in that scenario. So wake the fuck up and have the conversation with yourselves. Nigga, shut the fuck up, boy. Shit my word. Now what you gonna do? I hope. Gonna... Anyway, um, you know, like I said, oh, I want to say something. I put... I, pro I approved comments that were on my channel because with this new design, which is ass backwards, I can't even find where the damn comments go. So I finally was able to find the comments and I saw some people had commented and I didn't approve them. I wasn't trying to diss you. You know, YouTube is fucking ridiculous with these new designs and, they, and it's stupid. I can't. Comments should be on the front channel. But that's another discussion. Anyway, talk to you good people later. Enjoy this, you know. Greco-Roman sex ritual you call a holiday and I'll holler at you good people later. Peace.